everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm realizing in this very moment as I'm filming this that I look nude. I am in fact wearing clothes. We filmed and also edited this video prior to the tragic events that happened recently in Maui. So I decided I really want to turn this video into a fundraiser. I know times are tough and every single dollar, every single cent count. Please just donate whatever you can. I know it's going to people who really, really need it right now. If you can donate, please join me right down below. It's very easy and going to an amazing cause. And with that, let's get to the video. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Maybe I should actually say what my friend Viv says on all her videos. Hola amigos, bienvenidos. Kind of a little hint. Oh. Right now we are in the car, headed to the airport, being shuttled by truly the most expensive Uber driver in California. That's Bill a Davis. Judy Davis, his co-pilot. So we're going on a trip right now that we have been talking about taking for two years. This is definitely a work play trip. We've never talked about this work situation publicly. We're headed to the airport right now, so we'll fill you guys in when we get there because, I mean, I don't want to miss this flight. Random adventures, let's see what happens. Let's You know Adios, Thursday? Amiga. Does anyone know Thursday in Spanish? Thursday is. I know. I have to count on my fingers too. Martes, Martes, Martes. Okay, so we made it into the airport. Honestly, I'm kind of trying to be a little bit quiet because I feel like I'm yelling and it's a little bit awkward, but we made it into the airport. We are officially on our way to... Are we doing the reveal? Yes. Puerto Vallarta. So you guys, we're headed to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, which I guess is not that outside of the box. Chris and I have been there together many, many times. We have not been since before COVID, but like I mentioned, this is definitely a play and work trip. And the work aspect of what we're doing is honestly incredibly shocking to me still to this day, even though it's something we've been involved in for the last... Probably two years. Two years? You guys know we love investing in real estate. We made it to the house. Apparently it's right behind us. I haven't seen it yet. Three, two, one. And? Wow! Oh. We bought an Airbnb! And it needs a lot of work! You bought a million dollar house on a coin flip. So basically, our partner, Honey, was on the phone with me. He went to the house. Here, the guy in the background, all right, heads or tails? And I'm like, wait, what? We're flipping a coin for this? Tony says tails without skipping a beat. And then it's silent for like two seconds. And then I hear cheering. I didn't know who won. And then Tony said, tails never fails. And we got the house. And we love renovating homes, but would you be shocked? if I told you that two years ago, during COVID, we invested in a boat. Hey, it's real estate on water. And it's not really like just a boat, it's actually- it's like a 100 foot boat. <laughs> <laughs> we invested in a yacht, I guess. And this will be our first time ever seeing it in person, so that's fun. Yeah, to make matters even more us of us, we invested in this yacht with a group of investors. It sounds wild, but there are a lot of people involved, which is honestly probably why we forget about it all the time. And we didn't invest in this as like a thing really for us to even use or enjoy. It's really like buying a business because this yacht is primarily used for like day charters. Like people have weddings on it. People take it out to sea for overnighters. The funniest part about this is that like, we live in a one bedroom condo and we somehow are part owners of a yacht. We've never seen it to this day, so we're excited to go down and visit it. We're actually gonna be staying on the boat. Do you think the square footage of the boat is actually bigger than our house? 100%, <laughs> like 10 times as big. So you guys, what the hell, Vamanos, let's go to Mexico, let's go visit. Viva la yacht, Vamanos. This, this yacht that we bought, I don't even know you guys, this is truly wild. Hi, let's go. 
I'm not gonna lie, before we give you guys a tour of this place, I just have to say it's a lot better than I anticipated. Definitely like five times the size of our house. I actually don't know how many bedrooms or how many beds are That'd inside be of this bedrooms. boat, which feels like not a big enough descriptor, but enough of us talking about it. Do you think we should just give our friends a tour? Let's tour. and our bar and our dining room. It's really open concept. Come on in. What the actual heck? Okay, you walk in the dually, you enter this like open concept living space over here, bar. Over here, you have like the living room space. You have like a pretty big dining room table. And you know what's wild? I thought this was just like a curved painting. That's an actual curved TV monitor. I didn't even know they made those. And just to make the experience even more lush, I'm pretty sure that the ceiling is velvet. Nothing says luxury yacht like a velvet ceiling. Honestly though, I don't know what the boat looked like before the renovations, but I do know that the floors are new and I'm obsessed with this woodsy kind of like, you know what I was gonna say? What? <laughs> Obsessed with like the fact that this vibe is like boat vibe. <laughs> we walked in here yesterday and I was already blown away. And then it just keeps going and going and going. Why don't you show us the kitchen? Got a nice little galley kitchen in the true sense of the word galley kitchen. You hear that in houses, but we're actually in a boat. So maybe it came from boats, right? Is that where it came from? Galley kitchen? I don't kitchen? know. Well, give me a tour of the kitchen well, though. Microwave. Microwave. An actual oven. With a stove top under here. Wow. Filming trash compactor. We got a sink with actual running water. Wow. A yeah. double fridge double right over fridge. here. Stainless and freezer. Whirlpool. Got a and then, maker. Oh, and here's the crazy thing. This boat is like fully, fully, fully stocked because there's a chef who apparently is amazing. But let's keep the tour going. So this is the front of the ship and this is where the captain does all of his business. I'm not gonna lie, as a Below Deck fan, this whole area that we're about to see like really excites me because I think this is where the captain and the crew typically stay on the boat, okay. right? Yeah. So this is the big, the big bedroom. Mirrors everywhere, by the way, just so you can like check yourself out. Queen size bed, little couch area over here. Little vanities. And then you come inside the bathroom. Oh, hey. Two sinks, you have a toilet. And then over here, oh wow, this is actually a bathtub. The other thing I want to point out too that I think is really important, especially considering how close we are to the equator, this boat is decked out with awesome air conditioning because the humidity here is a whole thing, people. It's a whole thing. Why do you think I have my hair in a bun? Okay, now we're gonna go downstairs on the other side of the boat, and this is where we've actually been staying. You go down this little staircase. Come down this hallway. Queen size bed. This is a twin size bed, so if you're traveling with your kids, one of them could definitely sleep here. I would sleep here, yeah. 100%. You have a TV. The boat is equipped with amazing Wi-Fi. Yep, Wi-Fi, regular power outlets for your devices. I also saw that there's like Netflix, all of the TV things. We haven't tested that out yet, but I would believe it, honestly. Show them the bathroom though, babe. This is our bathroom toilet and again another like really tiny little bath and you took a shower in here last night and you said it was hot it was warm good water pressure gotta clean off that puerta verta humidity <laughs> okay we're gonna take you down the hall to the rest of the bedrooms bunk rooms whatever you want to call them let's go feels a little haunted mansion vibes but 
It's crazy. You, like this room is like blackout curtains coming your room. Okay. I don't even think I've been in this room. You could be Bedroom number like three. 11 oh, cute. Okay, two twin Sam size beds. Naomi. Sam and Naomi, our niece and nephew. This would be perfect for them. Decent size closet. Yes. What's in here? Oh my gosh. Is this another bathroom? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is wild. So. Okay. A sh is that a little shower? A little baby shower? Yeah. Okay, this room is actually really, really cute. And the other thing we haven't even shown them is look at how cute these little night lights are. These are at every single bed so that you can do some reading while you're uh, going to bed at night. And then window. Every room seems to have a window so far. Moving on to bedroom number four. <laughs> This is honestly kind of hilarious, just how much bigger this is than our house. This room is frigid. This Give is me the, the tour. This is the ice den room, which we love. If you love sleeping in the cold, it's amazing. Queen size bed, TV, ooh, a DVD player. Haven't seen one of those for a while. Closet, another ensuite bathroom. Oh my gosh, obsessed. Are there more bedrooms still? I can't remember to be honest. Let's go check that out. Okay, way. let's go. You know what I said? I said this feels like Haunted Mansion vibes. But this is probably more like Pirates of the Caribbean, True. if I had to is guess. It, is it a friendly but friendly ghost or? Oh, of course. I'm, you know, I'm trying to rebrand the concept of haunting. Like, why do ghosts always got to be like scary haunting? Why can't we be like happy haunting? Come into the laundry room. Come into the laundry. There's laundry. Yeah. Maybe this is where the crew sleeps. Oh my gosh. This is another bedroom? Yeah. Oh my gosh, babe. You missed this. So it's so six bedrooms. Six Five bedrooms. Six. Have we counted how many people can fit on here sleeping? No, but I would say 20. So this is still being renovated. Yeah. You can see there's like some tools and stuff. And then this little situation right here, that's the sea hatch that leads to the upper deck, which also reminds me, we haven't even gone outside yet. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's go. We're gonna take you guys to the backyard of the boat It's first. a little weird, right? Cause it's like the front door, but it's like the back of the boat. But this little deck that's out here, is it called the jumping deck? What's it called? Swimming deck, diving deck. Swimming and diving deck. And Big deck energy. There's also a dinghy out here. This is where we entered right over here. And it's really easy to jump off because there's that little ladder where you can climb back in. However, however, are you gonna tell them why we don't get in the yeah, water here? Yeah. There's an alligator that just chills right over I here. I think it's a crocodile. A crocodile. Crocodilo. A crocodilo. But this is a really cool little area where people can hang out during charters, sit right here, little ice chest. I think these are like splash pads that you can float on out in the ocean because there's lots and lots of toys. And then you have the option of entering the top deck from this ladder or there's an entrance on the side of the boat first. But babe, how about you come up the ladder and I'll, I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, so this is one of the ways you exit right out of the control center of the boat. There's a little pocket door that you can exit out of. Wow, it is sunny out here. Boat 101, you always need to be hanging on to something. Even though we are in the marina, honestly, you just never freaking know. So I'm up here on the, what's this area called? Didn't he call it like the sky bridge? That sounds great. That okay. Sounds luxurious. So typically when the weather is nice, this is like a couch section that's set up right here. And then you also have an outdoor dining area. We've been hanging out here because last night it was raining. Well, this is apparently a, bar a barbecue, right? That's what we heard. This is a grill on wheels. Another little steering station. Steering station. Lots and lots of seating as well. And how many people can fit on here? I'd say like 60. And last night when we got here and we were talking to one of our partners, he said they've had countless weddings. I thought there was only one, but there's been yeah. tons and tons of weddings. But let's go to the front of the boat. What's that called? We're just gonna call it the stern. Okay, we're gonna go to the stern. Don't know if that's the right terminology. By the way, sorry to any like boat aficionados that we're offending. I've, I got a lot to learn, obviously. Okay, here we go. How huge is this situation? So during charters, there's like so much space for people to just lounge and chill right here. It's so big. There are even like chase lounge chairs on the front of the boat, which is just honestly bananas to me. What do you think about this? You seem 
just looking at our, our neighbors. Hey! I honestly feel like really confused. When I woke up today, I was like, who, how, what? Oh, the sea hatch. Sea hatch, you could like down into bed. Oh, cool. I love that these chairs are right here. You know what this is? No, what's that? Yes. Is it like the engine? I'm gonna guess. Is it a jacuzzi? I'm gonna, I'm gonna it's guess. a jacuzzi. I'm gonna guess it's the anchor. Oh, dang, is it that big? Can you even open it? Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's the anchor? Holy crap, it babe. Drops down right into the water here. Oh my gosh. And we haven't even mentioned it yet. What's the name of this boat? New beginning. Welcome to the new beginning. The Titanic thing where you're gonna if you that? jump, I jump, Jack. Also, just want to give a shout out to the massage chair. On every charter, there are two engineers, a captain, two masseuses, and a chef. So I feel like the masseuse ratio on this boat is really strong. Like people mostly just come on this ship as like a floating massage therapy situation. And you know what? I'm not mad about it. Wow, I'm really sweating. Oh wow, this is so cool. Are we gonna go in this? We are. Oh neat. So what is the point of this? Besides cruising, like is there a reason that big boats always have a smaller boat? Is it for like escaping, like if it's Titanic? Besides cruising? Well, I don't know, I'm just, I'm kind of like thinking like Titanic vibes, like do we need this kind of boat for this boat, for like Titanic type stuff? That's beyond my favorite. Okay, well let's go on a cruise. Okay, we're headed out to Ding, pray for us. In case it hasn't been obvious in this video, I definitely have no idea what I'm doing and I think Chris is still learning, but um, if I trust anyone, it's him. Babe, do you know how to ding? Yeah, you know how to, you have a ding? Have okay, it. like we're talking about two different things. Okay, it's happening, let's do it. Okay, babe, you're like low key a uh, seaman. And look at this stunning piece of watercraft. Ridiculous to even say it's out weird loud. weird to even say it. Like, we don't have a yacht. Uh, we kind of do, actually. You guys can actually use it if you want to. I mean, you have to pay for it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, you guys can actually use it too if you want to. The link is in the info section below. If you're in Puerto Vallarta, you're on a girls trip, a family trip, and you want to do a little day charter, have your people call our people. And by our people, it means- A DM on you. Instagram. <laughs> and with that, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of all of our wild antic through the years. And I'm gonna do a little sneak peek. Like I'm gonna drop a hint right now. Are you ready for this? I don't know. Am I? Here's what I'm gonna say. If you're still watching, you deserve this little hint of what is to come. Here's what I'm gonna say. Over the next few months, we're actually going to be having some mic drops that are far more mic droppy than this one. Yeah, we are. Okay. Do you know what we have that we're telling people about? No. <laughs> you oh. do. Okay, so basically what I'm saying is subscribe, stay tuned, join the party, Smash the like button, leave a comment. I think that's everything. Love you guys so much. Let me have your hand. Let's put our hands together over the camera to, to close everyone out. <laughs> Bye guys.